یا صاحب زمان Of course, we hope and pray to Allah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hastens the reappearance of the 12th Imam, Al-Mahdi, and permit us to be included in his, under his banner, in his group. And that is something very important. But it is not a mere wish. No, we have to be careful. And again, this awaiting the reappearance of the 12th Imam, as we are approaching the birth anniversary of the Imam on 15th of Shaban, this awakening is not something to remain without any practice, without any activity, no. Which means that as if you really wish to join the army of the Imam, the camp of the Imam, and the banner of the Imam, we have to purify our souls. We have to look about the moral values and prepare ourselves to remove all impurities from our behavior. And that is very, very important. This is our message. This is our responsibility. And by that only, we prove to be included in those who will enjoy the time of the appearance of the Imam. And that is the wish and had been throughout the centuries the wish of many who passed away who were expecting and wishing to see that day. The emergence of justice when everything is made and done according to Allah's pleasure and in line with the doctrines of Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Otherwise, if one denies their duties, if people neglect the commands and prohibitions, in a sense, doesn't pay attention to them, not changing their habits and continue in what every other people who are heedless, who are only after the lust and the desire of this life, neglecting the focus on hereafter, preparing themselves for it, of course, they will be the losers. <laughs> Oh, so